Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. This is the Yang. And I'm the Yang from wifeandwifeblog.com. We're here doing our 36 week update. Actually it's a bit late. We're 36 weeks and four days. Yeah. Yeah, 36 weeks and four days. Um, oh, you can see my stomach is pretty big now. <laughs> Luckily Still no stretch marks there. We'll try to keep that for the next few weeks. Um, Not that there's anything wrong with stretch marks. It's, it's a thing of uh, beauty. It's a thing that you <laughs> have your kids. So don't be ashamed of your stretch marks. It's just yeah. a thing that I don't want to have. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Do your thing, baby girl. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, this week has been pretty good. Um, I did have one appointment where... The doctor's been a bit concerned about, well, just became a bit concerned because during the whole pregnancy, I haven't really gained a lot of weight, so. I've been concerned about it all along, just for the record. I haven't because she they- She not listen to me, they, she waits till the doctor says it to be concerned about, but I've been telling her all along. They're hey, the doctor, the MD. Okay, so, <laughs> if I, okay. When I say it doesn't matter, obviously, she has to wait till the MD says it, but for the record, I've been telling her about the weight during the pregnancy. Okay, well during the pregnancy I've only gained about 16 pounds, which I guess the doctor became concerned about it at my last appointment. So they sent me for a growth ultrasound scan and found out that the baby is now, um, he's in the 11th percentile and only weighed approximately 5.2 pounds. But um, we did read online that those growth scans are not quite accurate. Yeah, it's plus um, or minus six. Or was it six? No, no, plus or minus. I don't remember. It had a, exactly. like a pretty wide range, so yeah. if they would add the plus out of the range to it, he, there wouldn't have been a problem. And so they wanted me to go in for non stress tests twice a week, as well as an ultrasound once a week, and my regular OB appointment. Um, luckily, we went to the non stress test yesterday and spoke with one of the other doctors that I've been seeing more regularly and told them that we feel it's a bit excessive considering I was only six pounds when I was born so of course we're not expecting for me to have a 10 pound baby if I was only six pounds so um, the doctor did agree and so the non-stress test now is only once a week and then we'll do the growth just to check and as long as the baby's still growing they said they won't be really that concerned with it but that was like the little scare of the week um, other than that What's been going on? I still have been having heartburn every day. It seems to be getting worse. Um, the sleepless nights have continued. Pregnancy snore still in effect. Oh, I haven't heard this snore that she's speaking of, so. I'm gonna record, I'm gonna on tape for you guys so you all can hear. Like, it's... <laughs> and she's also said that I've been really grumpy the past few weeks, so. I guess those are the symptoms that I'm having now. Um, we're just waiting basically for the baby to get here now. We have everything ready yep. and we're in the final few weeks, 37 weeks is full term. Well, my OB's office um, counts 36 weeks as full term, but I guess it varies depending on the doctor that you're saying. But Wednesday will officially be full term. Yeah, and, and next week we're, we're contemplating whether we're gonna try doing the home, you know, uh, home induction, try to bring your baby on along techniques. We're contemplating that. We're on the fence. We don't know if we're going to do it exactly yet, but it, it's yeah. so tempting though. Like this, this last three weeks is like, I mean, it's the longest. Yeah. So you've been through 37. It's like, you just want to be over. So we're contemplating it. Like there's lots of things you can try, like castor oil and walking and all these old wives tales about how to bring on labor, but we're, we're playing with the idea, but we, I don't know. We'll, we'll, yeah, I think I'll stay away from the castor oil, yeah. but um, I've heard like certain teas and walking and stuff, so I'll probably try the walking if we decide to do that. But otherwise, the baby should be here July 4th, um, well by July 4th. If not, the longest my OB's office will let us go is 41 weeks, which will be July 11th. Yeah, so and that seems like so far away, so I'm hoping the baby decides to come with the they it seems like far away when you're the one that's pregnant <laughs> and uncomfortable. 
But um, that's about it. We just wanted to do a quick update. Well, I don't know how quick it was, but <laughs> do a little update to let you guys know what's going on. Um, we'll update, I guess, at 37 weeks, and we'll also be blogging soon, hopefully. Absolutely. This one needs the blog. Yeah. So check us out at wifeandwifeblog.com. Also, we're on Facebook. Um, just look up wifeandwifeblog.com. Um, <laughs> And also, if you want, you can leave a comment or send us an email at wife and wife blog at hotmail. Or hotmail if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future videos. Absolutely. Talk to you soon. All right. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>